Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Style by Sylvia M. All things fashion, interior design, travel, and lifestyle. In today's video, I'll be reviewing and discussing some of my classic Chanel shoes, uh, pros and cons, overall fit and comfort, and just some of my thoughts. Uh, let's get right into it. Just for point of reference, I'm typically a 36 or a 37 in shoes, um, US sizing a size six to a size seven, really kind of depends on um, the fit of the shoe, if it's open toe or closed toe. Uh, these are the classic Chanel lambskin quilted uh, CC turnlock loafers. These were released in 2022. Um, they were really hard to come by. I think now they have them in different colorways. Um, these are obviously classic black. Um, with a light champagne gold uh, hardware. Um, I do like how the hardware is a slider champagne gold. You can go and, you know, you can wear this with your standard gold or silver. Um, it's kind of like that in between, which I do really like. Um, I would say these are fairly true to size. Um, these are size 37. I could have gone down to a size 36 and a half. Um, but because these shoes are not so wide, um, I'm glad that I got the 37. Um, if they do end up stretching too much, I think that, um, it would still be enough space for me to put in a really thin insole. Um, so I'm okay with the size 37. Now, if I was going to wear these really often and, um, I got the 36 and a half, I'm sure I would have broken them in a lot sooner. Um, these are not quite broken in yet. Um, my foot is average. I wouldn't say they're narrow and they're not extremely wide. They do lean more on the wider side because I do have small bunions. And um, because of that, um, I do like going a little bit bigger on like with my closed toe shoes. So these are your standard like dress shoe has a hard bottom they are not cushioned um for the insole they're not very cushioned at all so um if you do go a little bit larger you can put in an insole if they fit you perfectly i'm sure with wear and tear they will um start to stretch out and wear quite nicely. The front of the shoe is a little bit softer and more supple than um, say the back of the shoe. Um, the back is definitely harder, more structured. So if anything, um, they would give more towards the front of the shoe. I know with Chanel shoes, some of the sizing can get tricky. I would say that these are shoes that you can go a little bit bigger um, like half a size larger and still get away with it uh, by putting in an insole or wearing them with socks. Uh, but for the most part, I would say that these are um, average in width um, and also in terms of sizing. So uh, just get your true to size or if anything, go half a size larger. Next are these classic two-tone slingbacks um, with, I believe, a two and a half inch heel um, height. Uh, this is lambskin leather with a grosgrain uh, toe cap. Um, I'd say the last two years, these have been definitely a go-to classic Chanel shoe to invest in. Um, as I mentioned before, my shoe my foot is a little bit on the wider side because I have very small bunions. Um, but with that being said, I find these not very comfortable because they have zero insole like or padding at the bottom of the, of the shoe. Um, it's very thin. The height of the heel is perfect. Two and a half inches. Like it, you can wear these anywhere, but because 
it's very, you know, thin at the bottom. You can kind of feel everything. So I wore these in France and um, I felt like the cobblestones underneath my feet and there was like no space for um, an insole. So I imagine they would get more comfortable with like a good um, break in, but because I haven't really broken them in, um, I don't find them to be very comfortable, surprisingly, considering it's not a very high heel. Um, I did stretch the fronts a little bit uh, because I found them to be a little bit tight um, at the widest part of my foot. Um, these are 36 and a half, and because it's an open back, I don't, personally, I don't like wearing shoes that have like a really large, like, like spacing in the back. If I got these in a 37, I don't think I would have liked them because the sling back would have been a little bit on the loose side of it, would have been, you know, slipping off. And I don't like to have my foot, like say, like show, you know, half an inch uh, or more in the back. So these fit perfectly. Um, I think I just have to give them a little bit more time to break in. But these are, you know, very classic. I'm glad that I have them in my closet. But um, I would say these are definitely true to size. Um, 36 and a half is what I would wear. Um, could I have gone up to 37? Yes. But like I mentioned before, I would have had more spacing in the back, um, which would have bothered me, but some people are totally fine with that. Um, if you do go half a size larger, probably would be um, ideal to put like that half insole padding in, in the front and still get away with it. But because these are classic and they're just, you know, really cute and dainty looking, uh, they will stay in my wardrobe, but for me, they are not very comfortable. I know some people say like, they're the most comfortable shoe. I love them. I wear them everywhere. It's possible that I haven't broken them in quite yet. And so um, I haven't given that quite a chance to, um, you know, say that these are extremely comfortable, but um, classic, timeless, and definitely something that I will keep and just wear on really like, you know, short occasions. Um, if I'm just kind of um, walking from here to there, lunch or dinner, um, I think those are those would be appropriate times for me to wear these. But if I'm going to be like trying to break these in in the summer traveling, um, I, I would say no. Um, they wouldn't be ideal for me to be wearing them um, for a long period of time. But beautiful, classic. I'm glad I got this um, this nude. Um, it comes with a little CC logo um, on the back heel. These have the grow grain um, toe cap and um, very classic, beautiful, and I still really enjoy looking at them um, and probably should be wearing them more in this upcoming spring. Last but not least are the classic Chanel ballet flats. Um, these are with the uh, lambskin body um, and the patent leather toe box. Um, this has the classic CC uh, stitching in the front, the logo. Uh, also has uh, the trim um, in the grow grain um, contrast and a little leather bow. Now, in terms of sizing, these are size 37, and I would say that they run small. Um, considering it's a belly flat that you would want to wear fitted anyways, um, I would imagine like a 36 and a half would have been great. But uh, for me, I found these to be um, on the smaller side, so a 37 fits me perfectly. Um, 
it could not have gone a half a size smaller. I think uh, it would have been extremely tight in the front. So I'm glad I got the size 37. Um, these are extremely soft um, and definitely more flexible than like the loafer or um, the uh, sling backs. Um, again, I haven't really broken these in, but for a very flat belly shoe, um, they're average in terms of comfort. Um, because I haven't completely broken them in and they're not really molded to my foot, um, I would say that um, they would probably get more comfortable with time. Uh, but um, they're so fitted and they fit me perfectly that I don't think I can fit an insole in here. So because it's such a flat um, shoe with you know no padding, um, that's my only downfall about these shoes is that they have zero padding. But um, I imagine if I really broke these in and they began, began to like really stretch, um, I can probably put in a really thin um, insole in these shoes and it would give me just added comfort. I would say because these are your standard ballet flats with like zero padding, for what they are, they are comfortable. Um, I can definitely walk a lot further in these than say the slingbacks. For some reason, um, going back to the slingback, because there is some heel height, um, I think the added pressure of, um, of the weight on the front of my foot um, and these being so flat with zero padding, it just like burns the bottom of my sole. Um, but um, like I said, these are not the most comfortable shoes for me. So in terms of comfort, the ballet flats are more comfortable for me. Um, and very dainty, they make your feet look, you know, very small. Um, I'm 5'4 and I am like typically a size, you know, 36 and a half, a size six and a half in US sizing. Um, they make my feet re look really small which I kind of wish my feet look a little bit bigger just because proportionally I'm 5'4", I'm like average height and weight. Um, they kind of make my feet look very small, I, I believe, in my opinion. But and if you had like a, a larger foot, maybe a little self-conscious about that, these would be very perfect because they really kind of make your feet look more smaller and daintier. So. Um, I think these are a great classic shoe. Um, I'm really glad that I got them in the black with the, you know, like a little pop of interest with the patent front toe box. Um, I really appreciate that. I know that they make them in all different fabrications and colors, um, some with quilting and, you know, um, but for me, I just kind of wanted to really build a, um, a very classic um, shoe wardrobe, you know, that was more timeless. So I gravitated towards a black and I'm glad that I did. And uh, these are it. Now, if you're purchasing your first pair of Chanel shoes, I would say personally, the ballet flats would be a great entry level uh, shoe for Chanel. Uh, in terms of price point, wearability and versatility, um, these are a great starter for your wardrobe. And if you wanted a shoe that's like synonymous to Chanel, very classic, um, the slingbacks are beautiful but I will warn you, for me, they were not comfortable, like I mentioned before, but they are gorgeous, very classic, the two-tone. My favorite shoe, um, I personally like the uh, loafers. For me, they're more wearable, they're very versatile in terms of the hardware and the wearability factor. Comfort-wise, for me, these are the most comfortable between the three of these pairs, and um, I do like how 
Um, these can go from day to night. Um, yes, they're not like your standard, like, you know, high heel dress shoe, but you can dress these up. So I hope some of my pros and cons and my overall thoughts on these shoes were helpful and informative for you guys. Uh, thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!